Alright, so what's going on, champs? Today, somebody needs to call the fire truck immediately, okay? Because the forests are burning, the fires are raging, man. It's raging wild for us tonight, alright? And the situation that we have is just crazy. The entire internet community is baffled. The, the experts are baffled, the scientists are baffled, and you know, the homie Nick Merckx came out yesterday, we covered that. Uh, he called Dr. Disrespect a retweet. When gang gang, when bozo, right? You got the homie that's disciples. Uh, shout out to the homie that's disciples for adding me in the situations. If you guys uh, do use Twitter, I would definitely love to have you on Twitter as well as Instagram. Links are always below. But I want to actually show you what the homie Dr. Lupo said, okay? And the Dr. Lupo called him out. And then there's this video that I want to share with you guys. Like the video if you love God. Like the video if you love your mama. Let's actually uh, get down to it, man. You guys are not ready. Roll it. You should hold every per- uh, context, Dr. Lupo speaks on Dr. Disrespect, and I quote, There's no defending it! Get your effing uh, head out of the gutter! The brain rot is killing some of you, said him, and this is his full response. Then I want to play you this clip, alright? Check this, roll it. ...person that you respect accountable for their mistakes, too. So in the situation where a person that I was working with consistently on both game development and my career as a streamer at the same time, we had collaborated multiple times, suddenly it turns out that years ago he tried to message a minor to solicit them for sex, and it, it got caught, and that's why it didn't happen. You expect me to not turn my back? Bro, y'all, there's no way you do not have fucking brain damage from this. There's absolutely no way. If 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 anywhere along that path you go, oh, that's fine. You got something fucked up in your head, dude. I don't give a shit. Clip it, put it on LSF, tag him. I don't give a fuck, dude. He messaged uh -huh. a 17-year-old when he was in his late 30s with a child and married, trying to solicit them for sex. Uh, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out, time out, time out. <laughs> Pump the brakes, right? Uh, so far, we do not know the age, right? At first, doctor cited it was a minor. Then during his uh, live stream response, he... Uh, I guess acted like it was not a minor he was talking about like in the court uh, the judge and everybody kind of deemed that it was not a minor that's that uh, we, we don't know I, I know it's confusing right because first doctor disrespect himself said it was a minor uh, then he says that it's not yeah like I, I want to know your thoughts on it as well but uh oh wait for and it. every single time he talks about it it's gonna be sugar-coated it's gonna be dumbed down because at what point do you expect someone to say yeah I wanted to fuck a teenager do you think he's gonna say that? Fuck no. He's gonna make it look better for himself every single time. There is no place along that. It doesn't matter if it's Tyler. If it was my fucking brother, I would say the same shit. Because you do not defend that. There's no defending it. Okay? Get your fucking head out of the gutter. The brain rot is fucking killing some of you, and it blows my fucking mind. Yeah, he's gonna have a fuckload of people over there that are watching him because they don't give a shit. They just want their fucking balloon animals from their clown to move on because they're because that's that's just that's the the fucking that's the the community that he's grown. That's fine, whatever. I don't give a shit. But if you expect me to associate with that or anybody that has any respect for themselves to associate with that in any way, you're fucking lost, dude. It's very clear cut. He said on Twitter himself that he messaged a minor and they they were it, it, inappropriately. He said those words himself. Yeah, he went and deleted it, tried to edit it multiple times. But y'all, what the fuck is wrong with you? Pull your heads out of your asses. It's not, this is not a thing to argue about. This ain't like support, you know, this isn't, this isn't a, a fucking, this isn't a cultural thing. It's not like some, some singular event at a time. This is a dude tried to fuck a teenager. Done. Yeah, well, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld's fucking gross, too. I see people bring that <sighs> shit up all the time. Still, what did he do? Still disgusts me as well. Yo, what did he do? What did he do? What, what, what did he do? Seinfeld was a shit show anyway, but that's besides the point. The the, the, the TV show Seinfeld, or uh, is he talking about something else? i never seen the Seinfeld show, but I heard about it. It's, 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 I heard I heard people say it was good. I, I'm not sure if he's talking about that or not, but... Bruh. Bruh. It's, it's that. That's it. Done. 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 He messaged a 17-year-old while in his late 30s, trying to fuck. Oh, okay. So that's the homie, Dr. Lupo, for y'all, you guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right now, we're getting down to the next one, okay? So this is the homie, Jamari. This one, I have not seen, okay? Let's see what the homie says three months later. Uh-oh, roll it. So it has been a couple of months now since we last talked about the Dr. Disrespect situation. Last time we caught up with him, it was not looking good for this cosplaying 42-year-old man, as he had been outed as an EDP, or at least so we thought. This former Twitch employee had come forward saying he got banned because he got caught 
accepting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers products. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that could be read in plain text. Case closed. Gang. Dang. Followed up with, no one made the wrong decision, him and his boys. This tweet would come years Holy. after Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch, and even years removed from his eventual settlement, where Twitch paid him out his entire yeah. contract. Oh man, this is still raging wildfires. Like, all of this drama is still raging wildfires. And yeah, like, I forgot to show you guys the replies of this situation, right? The homie says, log out, log out of your PC, go touch grass. Uh, perfectly said. Okay, so he was quoting. Base Lupo, anyone who supports Doc needs to think about their morals. Imagine if it was your kids. Uh, said Nick, the creator. Dr. Lupo has a uh, has a kid. Good for him standing up. So you, you see what I mean, right? Like, And I'm seeing people, a lot of people supporting Doc as well. A lot of people calling out, uh, uh, like, uh, or not supporting Doc, uh, I should say. Calling out Dr. Lupo. Did Lupo have this energy for Chris? Doctor, okay, so we read that it's really not that hard to understand four year olds shouldn't be talking to minors crazy some of y'all are okay with that lupo speaking the words any normal human being would say if you disagree you're part of the problem so it's like everywhere right now I, and i remember like the day dr disrespect came out with his response during a live stream a lot of people were supporting him right now it's like 50 50 though in this uh under dr lupo's thread though it's not 50 50 it's more like 90 uh, percent dr lupo 10 percent doc uh right like i don't know where you guys at it's like doctor on doctor situation right now man Bruh. It's some real gang crap right there. Yeah, doctor on doctor. So, Dr. Lupo out here firing, Dr. Disrespect, or disrespect, disrespecting and firing back as well. It is crazy, man. Doctor on doctor situation, kind of crazy. Of course, man. this would send the internet into a frenzy, as many looking on long questioned why he had been banned from Twitch so abruptly. At the time of his ban, he was averaging over 32,000 concurrent viewers per stream, and with him being one of the biggest on the platform, a lot of people had questions. At the time, this was all he had to say. I make probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the f*** out of them, okay? You think a big-time company like Nike is going to want to work with that big question mark? Or Disney? It f***ing sucks. Blood, cash here. But then once the allegations dropped all these years later, he posted this now-deleted tweet where he said that he was always keeping it real and that he wanted to apologize for his wrongdoing. Keep in mind, this was after he was allegedly booted from his gaming studio, with the CEO yeah. publicly condemning his behavior. This is a... <laughs> Whoa, 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 hey, and this tranquilo, was after papi. he was allegedly booted papi, from his tranquilo. gaming studio with the CEO pub. Tranquilo, tranquilo. This is a statement from me personally. It does not reflect any of my companies and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promise to only act on facts, and I did. Oh, shit. And, and this is Robert Balling, the guy that was behind Modern Warfare 20, uh, 2009, and he's the guy that was working with Dr. Disrespect on his game Do Dead Rob at Midnight Society. I believe he's still there, but Doc got fired. And this response came out right after Cody accused Dr. Disrespect of, you know, getting inappropriate with a minor and all that, right? Uh, and, and this one is before Dr. Disrespect put out, put out his fake statement where he acknowledged all that uh, and then right now he deleted that tweet of course uh, that's what I'm talking about where Dr. Disrespect said that yes sometimes the conversation lean inappropriately and he did message an individual minor his words not mine right and he deleted that tweet but this one came before Doc made that public uh, announcement so for context that's what happened publicly condemning his behavior, also losing several partnerships after this news broke, saying that he was never allowed to talk about the reason that he was banned from Twitch before, likely due to legal reasons, but now since Cody had tweeted about the situation, it was fair game, admitting that there were indeed inappropriate messages between him and a minor back in 2017, when he was 35 to 36 years old, saying that these were casual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Yeah, this is that message, and he deleted that now, he deleted that but nothing more, claiming that no crimes had been committed in the process, while also admitting that he never should have entertained these conversations in the first place, and that the mistake was his as the adult in the situation. Also taking a moment to tell his haters that he wouldn't be going anywhere, and that he is not the same guy who was in his 30s sending these inappropriate messages via Twitch, and okay. that he would be on vacation until further notice. Now it would be radio silence until around a month later, when he would post this tweet, insinuating that he was playing chess while his enemies were playing checkers. 
but this ended up backfiring on the self-proclaimed doctor as he would get trolled <laughs> relentlessly in the replies the heat was so bad in fact uh, okay you know what like whether you think doc is guilty or not the the responses were like just hilarious right the responses were crazy uh, to say the least. That he had to take the time to reply to some of his detractors. Little brainwashed woke boy putting out Dragon Ball Z <laughs> GFX with Kendrick Lamar lines. Got me big time. One month later, vacation is just too good right now. We'll be back soon though, champs. We have lots to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, are people still streaming video games? What a snooze fest. What are you doing, Doc? Relaxing in the Lambo with the windows down. Back from La Damn. Vacation. 15 year olds in the passenger seat. And now on September 5th, a couple. of months removed from the allegations, he would post a hype video of his return, where the yeah. intro shot is him riding in on a speedboat, combing his mustache, and announcing the comeback. Funny enough, <laughs> he was trolled once again here, as people questioned which island he was riding in from. Regardless, both he and everyone knew at this point that he would return. Yeah, man, like, dog, uh, at this point, whatever he does, people are just gonna connect him to, like, that kind of crap, right? Like, he's, uh, oh, you, are you on the boat? Oh, what island you coming from, man? Like, all that crap, and he was just like, hey, man, I'm gonna speedboat the crap out of it with like a nasa looking spaceship right it looks like a nasa spaceship running on on the waters on the international waters perhaps even right that's how it feels like right and sickers are like nah man you're coming from an island man you're coming from that island man it's crazy and in his comeback he would announce that he would be planning to regain monetization from youtube which was stripped from him in light of the recent allegations and obviously he would also acknowledge the entire twitch ban situation for almost four years the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the twitch suspension I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Now, Doc would take time to specifically call out Cody okay. Connors, okay. aka the Twitch employee that opened Pandora's box with his tweet. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved, leaks Twitch's reported reason. Cody. Why, why you, why do this? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was seeing a minor through whispers messages. <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't seeing anyone. Now this okay. is the weirdest part of his comeback stream, where he basically pulls a Drake and tries to act like he fed the media false information purposely, when he said himself that he had engaged in inappropriate conversations. Yeah, like that's the part we talked about, like, y you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the part that don't make sense though, like, why? You shot yourself, man, like, you killed your own dragon, doctor! Like, damn, man, you were supposed to save the dragon! Why you kill the dragon? A a and listen, man, like, I don't care whether you, like, find guilty. Uh, first of all, let me know in the comments below, right? Like, everybody gather on, gather on, okay? Start no offense, we gotta have a reunion right now immediately, okay? Do you think Doc's guilty? Let me know if you think he's guilty in the comments. You think he's not guilty and he's innocent? Let me know in the comments uh, as well. Alright, I wanna know where you guys are. But it it's not about that. It, it really is not about that. Whether you think he's guilty or not, if you learn and if you take one thing away from this video, and that is, that is, hey, don't let your dragons go in the dark tunnels, guys. Bruh. Don't chase a pom pom, chase your dreams, man. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, I swear to God, man, like, a lot of young men, even older men, a lot of people, uh, a lot of men out there, okay, in general, ruin their lives over that, man. Like, don't do it, man, don't do it! Don't do it! Control your dragon! You control your dragon, you control your life. You take control of your dragon, you take control of your life. That's simple. Simple. Don't let your dragon do the thinking for you. You gotta be the one in charge. You are the one in control. You control your destiny, not your dragon, okay? Don't let your dragon control your destiny, man. Like, if you learn one thing, that's the only thing I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll teach, man. That's the only thing, okay? I'm talking. I'm letting you know this is how it's work. You don't let your dragon go in the dark tunnels. In a tunnel sometimes, understandable, but don't let it be the dark tunnel, man, when there is no escape for your dragon, all right? It's bad. It's bad out there, man. Stud muffins, you guys gotta chill, okay? Roll it. with a minor. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. 
Neither did any of these journalists, and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. I even and Jamari's like showing his own response. That's the thing, man. Like, damn, man, damn. That's what I'm saying, right? Like now, this response, okay, this is what we wanted alongside the the, the proof and, and a little bit more. But this was a good response on its own. But then when you couple this response with his previous response, we're not even we're not even talking about Cody or anybody that accused Doctor Disrespect of uh, crap like that. We're just talking Doctor Disrespect versus Doctor Disrespect, okay? Uh, and when you couple this new response with uh, what, what he said previously, it's just like, why do it, man? It, it, what we're not talking about like video game leaks here where you're wrong or this and that, right? Like, that's whatever. We're talking about suckers labeling you as a PDF, though. That's like big, man. That's big, bro. Like, damn, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe he's playing 5D chess. Maybe uh, a lot of people out here are wrong and uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's playing 5D chess. Damn, man, he lost a lot of st uh, a lot of sponsorships over that, man. But he's rich, so maybe it doesn't really matter. But still, like, you're gonna taint your brand. I, I, I believe that Doc cares more about his brand, more about his brand, his personality, than, like, the sponsorships, at the very least, though. Then use the word inappropriate, purposely. And look at how it's defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but... Mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. No, on that one, I agree if this is true, right? Like, if it, if the, if it was just banter, like, just jokes, right? Oh, of course, like, uh, what kind of jokes are we talking about, right? Like, it, that, that also depends. It depends the, uh, of the, the age of the person as well. Really, we do not know the age, okay? Some people are saying it was 17, others saying 16. Doc initially said it was a minor, then said that uh, it's not a minor, right? Like, so we, we really don't know the age. So the age matters. What was said matters. And uh, if it was just jokes that were not inappropriate, then yeah, like he shouldn't be banned. But apparently they are saying that it was actually bad. That's why they banned him, right? We're not sure, man. We're not honestly though. Yeah, we're not sure. That's basically where I'm at with it, man. This dude really thinks he's out here playing. But but Doc himself out here admitted to it. So that that's the biggest issue. That's the only biggest issue. It doesn't matter what Cody said. Uh, it don't matter what like Dr. Lupo is saying or Nick Marks is saying or what I say what you are saying in the comments What anybody's saying right? It's just that what Doc said himself though that that's the that's the issue a lot of people are having right now That's the issue of uh, I guess the Nick Marks having Dr. Lupo's having uh, And you guys gotta understand that both of these fellows have played work with Dr. Disrespect so yeah, like I'd never played with Doctor Disrespect. You probably more most more than likely most of you guys did not play with Doctor Disrespect, right? So, but but these fellows actually did. So in 4D chess by creating PDF file allegations against himself, like he really thinks he got one over on everyone and these various journalists that he's so mad at for reporting information that he said. This Epstein angle was the shit that I expected. Now to be fair, people who said that he was specifically sting someone underage and that he wanted to meet up with them, if that was not the case, should be held liable for lying about that. But most yeah. people. I saw were just reporting what he himself said in that now deleted response tweet where he specifically said the word minor and now he wants to act like oh and yeah to be fair though yes uh you know Robert Bowling and his own studio they fired him before maybe they spoke behind the scenes and whatnot we don't know but the, yes they fired him and, and after that he put out a statement when he admitted to it once he admitted to it right whether you think he was you know uh intentional about it he'd done that purposely okay that's fair right if you believe that Right, like, I'm not trying to change your mind or anything like that, just trying to cover the news here and uh, from both sides. But regardless whether you think Doc is guilty or not guilty, after he said what he said in his tweet, after that, YouTube demonetized him and sponsors dropped him, and that's when, like, a lot of articles were written on it, right? Yeah. Uh, I do agree, though, like, the stuff with Chris Tyson was even worse than Dr. Disrespect, and, you know, the coverage wasn't on the same level as, uh, as Dr. Disrespect. I absolutely agree. Facts are facts, though. Facts are facts. But, you know what? Bo uh, two negatives don't make a positive, though. You know, you feel what I'm saying? It, it just don't work like that in reality, so. Oh, this was some genius move to self-implode his entire brand. All for an illogical gotcha moments. How would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words? Well, you know, I'm pretty sure the average almost 40-year-old hey. person is not ah. out here messaging kids, so why would we need to go through their chat logs? The same employees that decided to ban me? internally admitted that the whisper messages were not 
Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Now, honestly, it's not looking good at all for Twitch because the mm -hmm. way they botched mm -hmm. this entire process was horrendous. Doc makes it sound like this was all essentially a hit job and that he had a partner manager for years that did not like him at all. And then when he got renewed for his partnership with Twitch back in 2019, he then mm. requested a new partner manager. And then mm. only a few months later, the old partner manager was the one pushing for this person on the other side of these messages to file an official report with Twitch. And mm. even after that person allegedly did so and Twitch decided no wrongdoing had been done, Doc claimed that same ex-partner manager personally escalated the situation. Oh man, this was legendary, bro. Like, I, I, I don't watch, and I'd never really watched Doctor Disrespect too much, though, but here and there, like, I would tune in, and I, I remember seeing, like, one of these uh, intros, though. It was, it's actually good, man. It was actually good. Damn, man. And, and I, I guess it's true that Twitch don't like him, too. So, like, the partner manager he had didn't like him. But it's no, nothing really matter, matters anymore. It's just his own words that are coming to bite his ass right now, essentially. That's, that's basically what's going on right now, man to the Twitch law enforcement and response team to attempt to make this a criminal matter. The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch, even though the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. So Doc claims here that this ex-partner manager had yeah. a friend- Did he give me just like a smoochie like there? Wait, goddamn! It's over at the what Twitch the law enforcement team. What, what the hell, Doc? What the hell? Even after everything that you've been through, you sending out quiches out there, man? Damn, man! Team, and they basically- uh, I'm joking, by the way. They cherry-picked messages from these chat logs and sent them to a director at Twitch, and that basically within one hour, he had already been banned. The LER analyst cherry-picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even facts, when they aren't. Facts, facts, but by Within less than one hour, this- Yeah, he's still showing the doctor disrespect original response, man. Damn, man, damn. Yeah, like, th this is where the community's at right now. No matter what he says, Sucker's gonna bring up his uh, past message that he himself put out on Twitter. LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent and the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes Crazy. this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. Get on believe! Now I can see why Twitch had to pay out the entirety of his contract, because the steps they took to essentially fire this man were both unprofessional and rushed to yeah. say the least. Oh, on this one, Doctor has a point though. It's like rules for thee but not for me kind of situation, right? Where they, they would normally get the, the, the person's take, uh, their, they would try to get their side of the story, right? And in the case of Doctor Disrespect, from what we're hearing, they just heard the story and they were like, okay, we're gonna fire you. We're not gonna hear your side. We're not gonna investigate. They did none of that. They just assumed his guilt. He was guilty right then and there. So yeah, no, on this one, I do agree. I do agree that- He even he speculates here that they targeted him. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. Holy so then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers outside of the obvious? I mean, just take a look at me. <laughs> Unfiltered. The realest mother in this industry. Uh, okay, guys, I, I want to know your thoughts. One thing you can take away this uh, from this video is that don't let your dragons go in the dark tunnels, okay? Check out this video on the screen because we got massive leaks for GTA 6 and there's also some bad news in it. I'm not sure if you guys saw this or not. Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left because in the left, you got Tim the Tatman and Nick Merckx on Dr. Disrespect. Check it out and I'll see you there.